Hello, this is Paritosh from techmom.com. Uh, as you might be aware, Galaxy S2 has received the official Jelly Bean update that is 4.1.2 in uh, France and China. So I, I managed to, in fact, I uh, downloaded the <coughs> official stock firmware from uh, the SAM firmware. Uh, the link is in the description section. Okay, so uh, in order to flash your device with the uh, 4.1.2 that is Jelly Bean. Uh, Jelly Bean, you need to first wipe the wipe and format your uh, uh, Galaxy S2. So make sure you have uh, backed up your phone. And you know, uh, uh, I have switched on switched off my device. First of all, you need to press volume up, center button, and volume button simultaneously in order to enter the recovery mode. Okay. From there on, we will be wiping our uh, device. All right, so I don't know if it is visible or not. Okay, so select wipe data set slash factory reset and click on yes. So it's resetting. Now we need to wipe the cache partition again. All right, so You need to reboot the system now. Once it once it reboots, we again have to switch off the device and enter into the olden mode uh, to prepare it for uh, flashing device. Mind you, I already have JB in this uh, phone. Uh, I'm just preparing this tutorial. In the meantime, this is the new uh, boot screen of uh, the official Samsung Jelly Bean. And uh, since this is the first time, so it will take some time to go to the home screen. Be patient. Anyway, in case if you are not patient enough to wait for it to go to the home screen, you can just simply uh, take off the back cover, uh, remove the battery, wait for 2 seconds and then reinsert it and then uh, push the volume down button, center button and the power button simultaneously to enter into the Odin mode. Yeah, we are into the Odin mode right now, then uh, press the volume up button. Okay. So from here on, I'll be continuing the tutorial uh, using the uh, my using the screen capture utility. Okay, so you need uh, I had downloaded this file from Sam firmware. It is around, uh, yeah, it weighs around 565 MB. You need to extract this file. After extracting, you will get uh, another file with .md5 extension, .tar.md5. We will be making use of this file. Now, open the Odin folder and uh, now connect. <coughs> uh, we already have our device in the Odin downloading mode. Now, we need to connect it with our. Uh, uh, PC, laptop, etc. using the cable. Okay, now click on PDA, select the file that you that we extracted earlier on, click on open. It will do a MD5 check just to make sure that it's legit. Now just click on start. It will start flashing your uh, device. Uh, on your uh, phone itself you will notice a progress bar. Something like this. Uh, once it's done uh, the phone will be rebooted. And uh, 
you should get official jelly bean on a device Okay, so this is taking uh, a bit of time uh, by the time <coughs> uh, it is done loading the OS onto the phone I'll just let you know that flashing this uh, should doesn't increase the binary counter so in case if you are doing it for the first time I don't think the uh, it will avoid your warranty and uh, Yes, this is not the official. In case you are not living in France, this is not the uh, firmware that Samsung has pushed onto your device. So uh, expect minor, very, very minor uh, problems. Uh, but uh, I've, I've been using it for a while now and I didn't face any issues. In fact, the radio is working fine. Uh, the 3G calls are working fine. The video calls are working fine. So everything is normal. Also, uh, uh, I have. Uh, seen uh, people recommending that you need to change the SCSC code that is a customer sales code um, I personally I won't recommend you to root your device and then uh, change the SCSC code unless until you are facing any issues um, as long as the, your phone is working fine I don't see the need to root your device and go, do, go into all that mess of changing the CSC code it's not that big of a deal Okay, so as you can see it is taking a bit of time uh, but believe me uh, the jelly bean update is worth the wait uh, okay so I've been <laughs> recording this in uh, but uh, I don't think my cam should be at some kind of problems Okay, so we are, we are almost done right now. Uh, okay, so as you can see the status, it said it says removed. So I'll uh, be disconnecting my device from my laptop. And uh, all right. the phone okay so this is the new jelly bean uh, uh, boot animation uh, as I was telling you earlier and uh, okay so this was expected uh, since it is uh, uh, the official firmware uh, which Samsung pushed for customers of France so you should you will be getting the French uh, language selected by default. Uh, let us see how we can change that to English.
okay so this is the new touch whiz uh, what Samsung Galaxy S3 the new note has just click on this uh, look sorry look out for English UK mm, yeah here it is English United States then click on start okay so we have the new language mm, skip I'll just take you through the home screen I'm sure why it's taking so long skip for now Okay, so we have the. All right, so we uh, we are on the home screen now. Uh, as you can see, this is the official JB, the new touchways from Samsung. And just let me verify that the official Jelly Bean has been installed. Uh, okay, so as you can see, this is the Android version 4.1.2. So congratulations, you have successfully installed uh, Jelly Bean on your device. Thank you for watching this video. In case if you need a text uh, review, uh, text. Uh, step by step instruction for this uh, just uh, mentioned in the comments and I'll uh, try to come up with a uh, no, step by step instruction on my blog thank you